Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Basic Merger Modeling Course Part 3 in which case we will build a simple merger modeling. We will quickly input some numbers for our target, calculating our income statement and our very selected balance sheet and then we'll do the same thing for our acquire. We're going to copy and paste the numbers and double it up for the acquire and then we're going to slap these two together and we'll create a little bit more detailed of an accretion dilution model. Let's now turn to our Excel file that you should have open our simple merger model template. You'll see that this has three tabs. The first tab is our target company in which case we will build our very quick income statement using our simple growth and percents as well as our selected balance sheet and valuation items. We will then take this entire file, this entire tab, literally, I kid you not, we will copy and paste that into our acquirer tab we will double that up. That's now our acquire tab. We will double it up exactly on some selected key numbers. I'll walk you through that. And then we're going to go ahead, new code tab. In E8, the target stock price will be equals, control page up twice to the target, and you're going to select for me M20, which is my $10 share price. The premium that I will pay to this stock price, 25%. The acquisition price will be 25% above the $10. The shares outstanding I got to buy back will be 11. So equals in E11 will equals E28 from the target tab. What's my equity value that I'm going to buy back, that I'm going to purchase equals the price times the acquisition price rather times the shares outstanding, 137.50. What's my net debt? Equals control page up twice to the target and get yourself to M12. E14 equity enterprise value alt equals, but that gets you all the way to the stock price. So just hit down to get to E12 my equity value shift down to my net debt. That's my transaction value, my enterprise. What's my EBITDA in year zero? E15 equals control page up twice to target. Get yourself to E31, $15. What's my multiple? Well, simply the 182 divided by 15 bucks, paying a 12.2 multiple. Second thing we'll do is let's go to our deal structure. How much percent? I'm going to zoom this out a bit so we can see all the numbers. Let's go to cell L. 6% cash, let's say 50%. Stock equals one minus that 50%. Deal fees, hard coded five bucks. Let's make that up. Debt financing, well, you have two ways here. We're going to assume that you have the option or that we're going to take our total enterprise value, which includes our debt, and we may decide to issue additional debt on that or we may decide to issue equity. In either case, for now, we will take our total enterprise value, so equals E14 times uh, F4 that times else six my percent cash L11 just hit me a control D don't worry about the dollar sign there or you can hit control shift M and make that no dollar sign the acquirer stock price equals the acquirer page M20 Fifteen dollars. The number of sh the new shares issued will simply be equals the amount of money I will issue in stock divided by my stock price. I'm the acquirer. I'm gonna issue my target six point one shares. How many shares did I start with? L sixteen equals from the acquired tab to so control page up to E twenty eight. Alt equals to take my new pro forma shares outstanding. Let's grab in some of our balance sheet numbers. So I want you to go to P9, the target cash equals, control page up twice to the cash, which will come from M9. Debt equals M10 probably. Equity, you could probably just hit control D at this point, so when you hit control D. Goodwill, there's hard code zero. Do the same thing for the acquirer. Equals acquirer M9.
control D and let's make that properly formatted and then control D again no goodwill let's calculate our pro forma cash balance we're going to just assume for our pro forma cash to take the sum we're not going to use any of our cash or excess cash to fund the deal this is a simple merger model what's the debt the debt is going to be Q10 my acquirers continue existing balance remember I've assumed that I've refinanced my debt of my target so I will not use P10 anymore to this I will add the new debt raised L10 and then I will also need to add L9 my deal fees why is that here's the formula again Q10 plus L10 plus L9 per m &A accounting rules transaction fees are considered part of purchase price which will actually increase our goodwill number in two cells but also we're going to raise this amount via debt, cash paid out. R11 is my equity. I'm blowing away my target company, so what's my equity in R11? It will simply be my acquirer's balance plus the amount of equity that I'm going to raise, which is L11. So R11 will say Q11 plus L11. Goodwill is fairly straightforward as well. Goodwill will be equity value, not enterprise. It will be equity value. So that equals E12 minus my target's equity, P11, plus L9, because transaction fees, as I just mentioned, are considered part of, per, per, uh, a part of purchase price and therefore increase your goodwill. Let's now go to Q15, our interest on cash for the acquirer, equals, so we're in Q15, equals the acquirer tab M14 interest on cash and control D that to get my interest rate on my debt. Let's now slap our income statements together.